Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be going over the top 5 new player mistakes that can greatly hinder your LEGO Legacy gameplay. The first couple months you play will be some of the most important as you'll be laying the groundwork from which you can do well in events, do well in arena, and eventually do well in guild raids and guild events. So let's start off with mistake number one, which is leveling up useless characters. This is one I personally made and I definitely paid for it. Uh, the hardest things to acquire in this game are coins and scrolls. You get a decent amount early on, so it might seem like no big deal to level up your characters as you progress, uh, but you will wish you had those resources back around the time you hit level 20. So instead of taking every character to max level whenever you can, instead focus on a select few. Uh, the main five you should worry about is your arena team, whatever that might be. Uh, by the way, when you're first starting out, Hiker, Cactus Girl, Princess Verda, Chicken Suit Guy, and Crook Chuck should probably be your first arena team. If anything, swap Crook Chuck out for someone else, uh, but definitely focus on those main four. Uh, specifically Hiker and Cactus Girl, as they're still amazing characters in the later game. Uh, besides your arena team, you should also level up some characters for certain things like the coin event and the scroll event that only allow you to use specific characters. Uh, if anything, you should probably save all of your extra gear so that if you really need, let's say, another pirate character at gear 5, well then you already have the gear ready to go and it's not wasted on a useless character. Uh, so play that by ear. Also, for events like the coin event, you don't necessarily need a full team of five pirate characters. Instead, you can just focus on three of them, and that should be enough to help you clear the first few levels of that event. Number two is spending gems on bags instead of coins or refreshes. I've actually done a video talking all about how to spend gems, but I'll do a quick recap here. Uh, basically, saving for the 1100 coin pack is one of the best ways to spend your gems. Uh, the scroll pack is also good, but you won't be needing as many of those as you will coins. Uh, the other excellent way to spend your gems is to buy energy refreshes, uh, which can be done by tapping this plus right here. Uh, the first two times you buy an energy refresh, it will cost you 50 gems, and after that it will go to 100, and then 200, and so on. Uh, the two energy types, regular energy and mashup energy, are connected, so if you buy two 50 gem refreshes for the mashup energy, then the regular energy will then cost 100, and vice versa. Uh, my recommendation is to buy the two 50s every day, and save the rest of your gems for the coin pack. You get 65 just from doing your daily activities, and depending on how well you do in Arena, you can get anywhere from 10 to 300 additional gems per day. Even as a new free-to-play player, it should be easy enough to maintain top 1,000 at an absolute minimum, which will get you an additional 60 per day, meaning that you will have enough to buy the 250s and still have some left over. Number three is ignoring guilds. While there is currently not any guild raids or guild events, which I do assume will be coming very soon, uh, you still should try to get into an active guild so that when those things do come around, you'll already be in a good place and you won't have to panic in search of an active guild. Uh, not only that, but being in a guild also allows you to use other guild members' shared heroes. And these heroes can help you clear higher campaign missions, which will speed up your overall progression. As you can see here, my guildmates have shared multiple 7-star heroes, which, as you can imagine, makes clearing the more difficult campaign missions very easy. Uh, you also get guild coins whenever you use a shared hero, or if your hero is used by others. Another thing I should mention is that currently there is nothing really good in the guild store, so personally I recommend saving all of your guild currency until something really powerful shows up. Number four is not completing all missions or ignoring the higher challenge tiers. Uh, when you first start out, it might seem annoying to have to battle through all of these missions, uh, but ignoring these will really slow down your progress, because in order to farm the harder to acquire gear and character tiles, you will need to get a gold trophy on those missions. Uh, in case you didn't know, you get a gold trophy if none of your characters died in battle. If one died, then it's a silver trophy, and if two or more died, then it's a bronze trophy. And once you get it to gold, you can just click this loot button and 
and get all of the rewards without having to do the entire battle. And as I mentioned a second ago, if you can get into a solid guild early on, you will be able to use the shared heroes to complete these much quicker. And if you're really struggling with getting a gold trophy, maybe choose a healer for the shared hero, as that will help keep your entire team alive. And the same thing applies to the higher challenge tiers. Just take the time, do the battle, even if it's very slow, because then the next day you can just go ahead and loot the battle as long as you've got a gold trophy, and you'll get much better rewards. Alright, and then number five is spending your other resources without a clear focus. There are a lot of different types of coins in the game. There's arena coins, mashup coins, guild coins, and so on. So make sure you have a plan before you start spending. I personally decided to go for the Ninjago characters early on, so all of my mashup coins go to Zane and all of my arena coins go to Lloyd. Thanks to this, I already have a 6-star Zane and a 4-star Lloyd after just about 5 weeks of playing. Uh, I also planned to save all of my guild coins from the start, since currently, like I said, there aren't any really great characters in this store. Uh, and also, I've planned out exactly where all of my energy goes to every day. Uh, first, I farm for any gear pieces I might need, and then the rest of my regular energy goes to Kai and Nia. For mashup, I start by farming Zane and Cactus Girl, and then any excess energy goes to Hiker and the Guarded In set. Also, Hiker's node has a tier 1 set tool, so I'm able to farm that at the same time as well. Alright, well that's about it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. As you can tell, I'm still a bit new at this, so I do appreciate your support. Have a great rest of your day.